Hi, and welcome everyone to Accounting 100. My name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona, and I will be your instructor for the next 16 weeks. This course is an introduction to accounting, and it's delivered 100% online. So this means that all the lectures, assignments, and exams will be available via online only through this course shell in Canvas. So there's no requirement for you to be on campus to complete any of the assignments for this course. I want to thank you for your interest in taking my class. I look forward to the next 16 weeks where we will learn together the foundation to accounting concepts. Something that I want you to keep in mind is that I'm available to help you and be your resource. My role is to help you succeed in this course, so if you experience frustration, disappointment, anxiety, confusion, it's okay. What I ask is that you try your best and complete all of the requirements for this course, and I guarantee that you will succeed. I have been teaching this course for over two years, and the success patterns for my former students are very consistent. What I find is that if you try your best, and you complete all of the assignments, you will pass my course successfully. I have found that the students that fail my course are those that disappear throughout the semester and don't complete all of the required assignments. So if you find yourself falling behind in the assignments, please do not give up or drop my course. Give me the opportunity to help you out and guide you. So if you find yourself in this situation, let's talk about your options and um, help you succeed. So with this in mind, rest assured that I will be keeping in touch with you the moment that I see that you missed an assignment. This is not to give you any added stress. This is just a way for me to remind you about an assignment that is due and also to offer you my, my assistance. I will be going over the syllabus and the course schedule today in order to explain all the expectations for this course. I will also show you the basics in navigating this course, and I will show you where to find your assignments and how you can reach me in case you need to contact me. So let's begin. What you are seeing here on this screen is the home page to this course. This is what you see um, on your end. This is not the view that I see. I will go into what I see later into the presentation, but this is what you will see. So every time you log into this course, you will see this exact page. And here you see that I welcome you um, to this course. And I ask you to see this video first, which is the video you're watching. After the video, I emphasize the requirement for you to send me an email by 11.59 p.m. today in order for me to record your attendance. Uh, you can do this uh, by going into... Um, your inbox button on the left hand side of your screen. So please pause this video now and take a moment to send me an email to confirm your attendance. It's extremely important that you do this today. I'm required to follow institutional policy which requires me to drop you from this course if you do not show up on the first day of class. So this is for all courses at Golden West College, so please send me an email so that I can record your attendance and not drop you from this course. Okay, after that, you will see that you have several assignments that you have to complete by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, August 30th. Um, so that's this week. First of all, you will need to complete the course orientation module. And you can do that by clicking this link. All the links are in green and underlined. So this link will take you to, the, to this page, which is, um, this lists all of the pages within this module. So the sections that are not indented, for example, start here, uh, preparation, expectation, and activities, those are only headings. There's nothing there. The pages of this module are the ones that are indented. So for example, the first page of this module is welcome message. So click on welcome message so that you can begin working on this module. And what you need to do is read the content carefully and make sure that you do not skip any pages. 
you will have to complete assignments within this module, which counts towards your participation points, which I will explain in a moment. So once you read the material and complete any assignments within the page, you have to click on Next so that you can move on to the next page. Here you can see resources related to Canvas. And once you go through all that, then you click on Next again to navigate through the entire module until you get to the end, okay? At the end of this module, you will have to complete two activities. So let me go through all of the pages that you need to cover. And this is just giving you general information about resources and course expectations. Drop policy. Netiquette and tips. And then here is one of the two activities that you need to complete. One is this, this small quiz. It's titled Guidelines to Success or Guidelines for Success. And you would just take that quiz by um, clicking on the Take the Survey link. Once you're done with that, the next activity will be to complete student introductions. You will have to answer these prompts here. And in order for you to type your answer, you will need to scroll down into until you reach the reply button. And this um, also requires you to answer at least two other posts from your classmates. So once you hit the reply button and you complete your, your response, make sure you go back and read your classmates' response and at least respond to two of them. Okay, once you finish this module, you can click on the home page, on the home tab, to take you back to the main page of this course. And the next activity after the course orientation module is to read your syllabus and the course schedule. And again, you will click on the green link. And this link will take you to the syllabus and the course schedule. So let's go over the syllabus first. It's embedded within this page here, or it's in a PDF link up above. So I am going to use what's embedded here and expand it to a full screen, and we will cover it like this. So here you can see my contact information. You can reach me via email, phone, or via text message. This number is only for text messages. Please make sure to send me an email from within Canvas and not from your private email. If you send me an email from your private email, there's a good chance that it will be sent to my spam folder or even worse, it can be blocked completely from reaching my inbox. So if you use the email function from within Canvas, I will receive an email with the course name in the subject line and it will be easy for me not to miss it. So if you need help with the course material, uh, I'm available to meet with you by appointment, on, by appointment only. Um, we can meet in my office, which is located in the administration building inside of the Answer Center in Office 121, or we can meet via online. We can use FaceTime, Google Hangout, or Skype, your choice, okay? After that, there's a brief introduction, so please take a moment to read that. And then for this course, you will need to purchase the textbook uh, that comes with a code to enroll in Connect Plus. Here's the information and the ISBN number. And you can purchase this in the campus bookstore in person or online. And you will also need a basic calculator, but you will not need a scientific or financial calculator. So don't uh, uh, spend your money that way. For this course, you will um, you will see uh, the course description and the stu student learning outcomes. So make sure you you will cover that and read it. And then it goes into the grading. Um, for your grade, it will be based on assignments listed here, which I will cover in a moment. And the grading scale is very traditional as listed here. Okay. So let's go over your components for your grade. For 
in order for me to record your attendance and grade you on participation, I will be basing it on a number of factors. Your first attendance um, will be recorded today, so I will be basing attendance based, based on the email that I'm requiring you to send me by 11.59 today. In terms of participation, I will be basing this on your completion of assignments by the deadline and also by your participation in the extra credit questions. I will be posting extra credit questions Monday through Friday with the exception of Wednesdays and holidays. And each question is going to be worth half a point. So each day the question will be posted and it will be due on the same day. This will give you an opportunity to earn a total of 50, 5, 0, 50 extra points for this course which will count towards your entire final grade. So I will not only, so not only will you be earning extra credit points, but I will be basing your participation points based on this as well. So make sure that you keep yourself um, active within the course and take advantage of those extra credit points. You will have weekly reading assignments and homework, um, which are available through Connect Plus and I will go over Connect Plus in a little bit. So these weekly assignments will be due every Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. and you're probably asking, why Wednesday? Well, many of you may be working full time and or have family obligations, so I find this day to be more accommodating than making the assignments due on Sunday. So Wednesdays give you the opportunity to complete the assignments when you are not able to do so during the weekend. Perhaps you you work during the weekends or, or you have a family event during the weekend. So regardless of your obligations, just remain, remember that the assignments are due Wednesdays by 11.59 p.m. This is, I find this to be a little more accommodating um, based on what I've tried in the past. So what happens if you do not submit your assignments by this due date? Well, I do give you the opportunity to submit it late. However, keep in mind that I will be deducting 10% of your points earned uh, and that will be deducted each day that it is late so if you find yourself that you're going to turn in a late assignment make sure you turn it in as soon as possible you will also be required to complete a small project at the end of the course this is to help you um, review for the final and also to practice the concepts that you have learned in the in a real real world setting. So I will be giving you more information on this project after your midterm so you don't have to worry about it now. In terms of exams, you will have one uh, midterm. You will have a midterm which will include chapters one through eight and you will have a final which is comprehensive and that is all 13 chapters that are in the textbook. So here are the drop dates. For this course, please remember that I want you to succeed and I don't want you to drop the course. So if you find yourself in a situation where you are considering dropping the course, please contact me first and let's talk about your options, okay? As stated earlier, I'm here to help you succeed. I'm available to give you extra help that you may need. And you can also use the Student Success Center for other assistance and resources. So here's the information on that. Okay, that's that for that's it for the course syllabus. Now let's go over the course schedule, which is below. Okay. So the course schedule is also available for your review, and this document gives you information on what will be covered each week. So remember that I begin and finish the week every Wednesday. So if you follow this schedule, you will see that between today and Wednesday, um, you have to complete several assignments, and which are right here under the assignments column. And this will include the course orientation module, which I already showed you, and registering for Connect Plus, which I will show you in a minute, and then complete your um, student introductions and that survey. And then notice that there's no extra credit uh, questions during these uh, these days. 
We will begin uh, chapter one this Wednesday, August 30th, which is located in um, week one under, under the modules tab. And I will show you where that is in a moment. You will have to complete the reading, the lecture, and the homework by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th. And the extra credit questions will be available starting Thursday. So notice that I will post these extra credit questions every Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. I will not be posting extra, extra credit questions uh, during the holidays or Wednesdays. Um, I do not post them on Wednesdays because this day is when the assignments are due. So I don't want to give you any added stress. So notice also that I um, include the holidays, like Labor Day, within the lecture topic, which is coming up next week on Monday. Okay? Your midterm is down here will be after chapter eight, and I will give you an entire week to work on your project, which is um, the week before fi the final, okay? Notice that for the project, I have a recommended due date of Wednesday, December 13th, 2017. Technically, you can submit the project on the last day of the course, which is December 16th, however, I recommend that you do not wait until the last day of the semester. Submit your project on December 13th so you have the ability to just focus on your final, the last days of the semester. Okay? Now let's go back to the main page of the course by clicking the Home tab. And the next assignment is to complete your Canvas profile. And this is where you can add your picture and any, the, any other information that you would like to include. Okay, which is going to be here under account. Also update your net notification preferences under this link. This is to determine if you would like to get notifications when assignments are due or when I post something to Canvas. It's up to you, so make sure you go over that and um, Make sure you choose what you prefer. The last assignment uh, is to register in Connect Plus. And this is where your assignments will be available and where you will complete them and submit them for grading. So if you have not purchased the textbook with the code, you can sign up for a 14-day trial. And you can do this by clicking on the McGraw-Hill Connect tab up here. Okay, that's on the left side of your home page. I will ask, um, when you click on that, let me take you there. It's going to take a while to load, but it's going to ask you to begin. And when you click begin, it will um, ask you for the code that you purchased with the textbook, or it will allow you to sign up for the 14-day trial if you don't have it yet. If for some reason you are unable to purchase the, text, the textbook and the code by the end of the 14-day trial, please contact me immediately so we can determine a solution for you in, in the interim, okay? The last thing that I will show you is how to complete your assignments. After this section, you will see um, in the Home tab, if you go back, after all this section, you'll see the course content with a link to each of the 16 weeks of this course. Your assignment for Chapter 1 will be available for you starting this Wednesday, August 30th, and you can click here on Week 1, and it will take you to the pages within that. Right now it says unauthorized because I have not opened it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the student view and show you what you will see once I open it, okay? You will see this week one, okay? And what you can do, um, it will take you to the task list. Remember that whatever is not indented is just um, heading. 
So what you will do is go to the first page which is indented, which is the week one task list. And it will give you the task list with a due date. So for this coming week, um, the assignments will be due Wednesday, 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6, 2017. And you will have to read Chapter 1, view the lecture, complete the homework assignments, and then complete extra credit questions, okay? So what, they, what you do next is click on Next. And it will move on to the next page, which will take you to your reading assignment. And that's kind of what you will see in Connect since I already have um, access to that. Okay. Um, you will, um, once you complete that, you will go on to the next page where I have recorded the, um, the class lecture. Let me take you back. After that, you're, you're going to see the class lecture, which is right here. Um, and then you'll see the PowerPoint slides at the end based on that lecture for your um, convenience. Um, what I try to do is I recorded, um, I record a lecture every single week. So you will see this same pattern every single week. Okay. And then it'll take you to your homework assignment when you go on to the next page. I'm just going to show you from the modules perspective because otherwise it's going to be confusing. But you will just click on the next page and it will take you to the next page after that. So you will have a task list. You will have your reading assignment. You will have your lecture like I showed you. And then it'll take you again back to Connect Plus to do your homework assignment. For this chapter, it's going to be multiple choice questions. However, when we get to the accounting concepts, you will have questions that require computations and it will require you to fill in an answer. Um, then you will see the extra credit questions. And remember that these questions will be posted daily starting uh, this Thursday. Okay, and they will be due on the same day that it is posted. So let me show you what I mean by this. Um, here you see the homework assignment, and you will see the extra credit quest questions, and then you'll see the due dates right here at the bottom of each of the sections. So the first extra credit question will be posted August 31st, and it'll be due August 31st, and it's worth half a point. The homework assignment will be due September 6th, and it's worth 250 points. The reading assignment will be due September 6th and is worth 100 points. Okay, and for the extra credit, um, you'll see that I posted it for Thursday, Friday, and not Monday because Monday is a holiday, it's Labor Day, but you will see one for Tuesday, uh, September 6th. Okay. We will be covering 13 chapters in this course, so the entire textbook, and they will each be included in each of the week modules. So if you go back to the modules, to the home page actually, you'll see the 16 weeks. So I will be posting one chapter per week. So for chapter two, you will see that in week two. For chapter three, you'll see it in week three and so on. Eventually, for after week eight, you'll see the um, the midterm. I will open the week module every Wednesday at midnight, and the assignments will be due the following Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. And um, the last section of the home tab is information about myself. This gives you uh, my career background as well as some personal information. And hopefully you will, you will take the time to read it and get to know me a little more. This is all I have for this introduction. Please make sure to send me an email by 11.59 p.m. And make sure that you complete your assignments by 11.59 p.m. this Wednesday, August 30th. We will begin Chapter 1 on Wednesday, August 30th. And it will be due Wednesday, September 6th. So we will get busy. 
However, remember to try your best and complete all of your assignments and you will succeed. So I'm here for you and I thank you for your time. I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you.